What's going on guys? Cam here from Edmunds Woodshop. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are covering an upgrade on the Ohmtec Polar, adding this honeycomb bed. So I'm gonna go over some questions, some concerns, and just some reasons why you may want this upgrade for your machine. So I went ahead and pulled out the stock honeycomb bed and then compared it against the new honeycomb bed by a manufacturer called Delfiki. Now, one of the key differences here is that the stock honeycomb bed is made out of aluminum where the new honeycomb bed is made out of steel. So what does that mean? Well, if you take a magnet here and you were to stick it onto the aluminum bed, you'll notice that it doesn't stick. Now, the moment that I bring it onto the steel honeycomb bed, now it sticks. So what does that mean for you? Well, if you're working with bowed or uh, uneven work pieces and you need something to hold it down, where people were previously using hold down pins in the honeycomb bed, now you can use a magnet. Now with the polar, and I'll show you here in a second, is uh, with the gantry being so low, you're gonna have to use some relatively uh, low magnets. So magnets like these, I can take the screw out, take the handle out, and I can use uh, the magnet to keep material flat. So one question you may have is, is the new honeycomb bed going to fit in the Omtech Polar? And the answer is yes. This is a one-for-one -one fit compared to the stock honeycomb bed, meaning it's the same length, it's the same height, it's the same thickness as compared to the stock model. The only thing different is going to be the frame that goes around the new bed compared to that of the old one. So I measured the frame here. The width is about seven eighths compared to the width on the stock frame, which is about a half an inch. And then this is about a millimeter tall. So a concern you might have is if I lay material on top of the honeycomb bed and it overlaps the frame, will I still be able to achieve a cut? And the answer is yes, but with the caveat that you may have some flashback due to the laser hitting a solid flat surface compared to the honeycomb bed. So if you're okay with that and awesome, if not, then you may have to work in the uh, honeycomb bed, which will reduce the amount of workable space. So let's talk about packaging. When you receive your package, it is packaged in this foam here and it's form fitted meaning that it sits directly in this pocket of foam. And then it has these little plastic protective guards there in the corner, so these come off. And then what's also cool here, as I'll show you, it comes with these push pins, right? They're just little plastic push pins, kind of like what you see in, a, in a, a vehicle, and they work pretty good. So if you don't want to use a magnet, you can still use a push pin and it keeps your material flat. But the whole concept of getting this upgrade is kind of so you have a, a magnetized or a magnetic honeycomb bed. All right, so we're gonna get this bed installed. Now, one thing I wanna point out is that it is interchangeable on both sides. So if you don't wanna have this labeling on the front, simply turn it around and you don't have it on the top or bottom. And now we can just slide it in to the tracks and there we go so looking down on the inside of the machine this is the frame that i wanted to show you so this is the 7 8 thick frame or wide frame compared to the half inch stock frame right and when you put a piece of material down on top right it can sit there is a possibility that it can sit on top of that frame so if you don't want it to possibly have any um, flashback from the laser from hitting this flat surface, then you're going to have to bring it onto the honeycomb bed. But now one thing I wanted to show you is, I don't know if you could see that, but there is a bow. Look at this top edge. You could see it bow, right? Because it's not sitting flat. Well, if I'm working with the whole material, I can't really use a hold down pin in the, in the middle, but I can certainly use a magnet. Right, so if I use a magnet, I'm not sure if you can see that, but it grabs on quick. 
Now remember, I said you can't use anything too tall because if you have the gantry that sits down low, it's actually moving my magnet. So I bought magnets that have uh, the, removable, the removable top with the screw that comes out and it looks like this, right? So now I could put it onto my material, move it wherever without worrying about the gantry hitting it. Now, this may be a little bit cumbersome for somebody that can't grip very well so just keep that in mind because you're probably gonna wanna have a stronger magnet for the thicker material and uh, maybe not so, so strong for the thinner material. So I did wanna bring up a concern that I talked about earlier and that is your focal distance when your material is sitting on top of the frame. So remember I mentioned that the frame is probably about a millimeter thick, so it does sit on top or when it does sit on top of the frame, it raises your material height, which will reduce your focus. Now, one millimeter is nothing. You gotta understand that. So it, it may degrade your performance just a little bit, but it's not gonna reduce your ability to cut. And like I said, you'll probably have some flashback due to the um, flat surface that the laser is bouncing off of. But if you do find an issue, just pick up the material, and pull it off the frame so it's sitting on the honeycomb itself. All right, so that's it for today. That is just the magnetic honeycomb bed for the Omtech Polar. Now this is just something that I've been wanting to do for a while because uh, on my 80 watt, it comes with a steel honeycomb bed. So it never made sense to me to have an aluminum bed. Uh, I kind of got spoiled being able to use magnets and hold my material down flat. Or on the polar, you just you weren't able to do that, so it was just always frustrating. So I jumped on the opportunity once they came out with a, uh, a magnetic honeycomb bed. Um, I'll be sure to share the links. This one specifically is from Amazon, but there are other China direct sources like from AliExpress you can do, but they're quite a bit more expensive and a longer wait time. But I'll add those links in there just so you can have options to choose from. Now for magnets, like I said, it's, they gotta be low profile magnets. If you go to Harbor Freight, they have these long magnetic strips that they, hold, that they use for holding tools on a wall. You can use those. You can go to Amazon and get the ones that I have if you want. Uh, but I'll give you links and give you everything. Just make sure you're looking in the description box below. And then as normal, if you like what you see, please like the video. And then if you want to, please subscribe. All right, thanks guys. We'll see you later.